This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. For yonder bank hath choice of sun or shade, and there am I wont to sit, when any chance relieves me from my task of servile toil, daily in the common prison else enjoined me, were I a prisoner chained, scarce freely draw the air imprisoned also, close and damp, unwholesome draught. But here I, I feel immense, the breath of heaven fresh blowing, pure and sweet, with day spring born. Here, leave me to respire. This day a solemn feast the people hold to Dagon, their sea idol, and forbid laborious works. Unwillingly this rest their superstition yields me. Hence with leave retiring from the popular noise, I seek this unfrequented place to find some ease. Ease to the body some, none to the mind, from restless thoughts that, like a deadly swarm of hornets harmed, no sooner found alone but rush upon me thronging, and present times past for the once I was and what am now. Oh, wherefore was my birth from heaven foretold twice by an angel, who at last, in sight of both my parents, all in flames ascended from off the altar, where an offering burned as in a fiery column charioting his godlike presence, and from some great act or benefit revealed to Abraham's race? Why was my breeding ordered and prescribed as of a person separate to God, designed for great exploits, if I must die betrayed captive, and both my eyes put out, made of my enemies the scorn and gaze, to grind in brazen fetters under task with his heaven-gifted strength, O oh, glorious strength! Put to the labor of a beast, debased, lower than bond slave. Promise was that I should Israel from Philistian yoke deliver. Ask for this great deliverer now, and find him eyeless in Gaza, at the mill with slaves, himself in bonds under Philistian yoke. Yet, stay. Let me not rashly call in doubt divine prediction. What if all foretold had been fulfilled but through mine own default? Whom have I to complain of but myself? Who, this high gift of strength committed to me, in what part lodged, how easily bereft me, under the seal of silence, could not keep, but weakly to a woman must reveal it, overcome with importunity and tears. Oh, impotence of mind, in body strong! But what is strength without a double share of wisdom? Vast, unwieldy, burdensome, proudly secure, yet liable to fall by weaker subtleties, not made to rule but to subserve where wisdom bears command. God, when he gave me strength, to show withal how slight the gift was, hung it in my hair. Ah, but, peace, I must not quarrel with the will of highest dispensation, which herein haply had ends above my reach to know. Suffices that to me strength is my bane, and proves the source of all my miseries, so many and so huge that each apart would ask a life to wail, but chief of all, oh, 
loss of sight of thee I most complain. Blind among enemies, oh, worse than chains, dungeon, or beggary, or decrepit age. Light, the prime work of God, to me is extinct. And all...